Good afternoon. We begin with breaking news today. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau unveiling his new cabinet this morning. The Honorable Mona Forche, President of the Treasury Board. Some major changes with new defense, health and foreign affairs ministers and locally, as you just saw, Ottawa Vanier MP Mona Fortier getting sworn in moments ago as the president of the Treasury Board. She is Ottawa's lone representative in the new cabinet. Joining us now to talk about uh, the cabinet makeup this morning, CTV's Glenn McGregor. So this was an interesting morning, certainly. Let's talk about the new look uh, a little bit and some interesting shuffles, uh, particularly on defense. Yeah, on defense, that's one of the you know, the two really big changes that came today. So Harjeet Sajjan, been under fire for his handling of sexual misconduct allegations in the Canadian Forces. Uh, he is out of that job and shifted not to kind of an equivalent position, but kind of demoted down to uh, taking responsibility for international development, an important job, but certainly not as senior as the one he had before. He's replaced by Anita Anand, and she was, of course, the face of the procurement uh, program to acquire vaccines. For, for, during the pandemic, uh, was uh, highly regarded in how well she handled that. So she gets a promotion. She's now the defense minister and will be responsible for tackling uh, those sexual misconduct issues and, and some other issues uh, within the forces. The other big change is at foreign affairs. Mark Garneau, the former astronaut, longtime Liberal MP and veteran cabinet minister, is out of cabinet completely. We think we know the reason why. We think he's moving on to a diplomatic post, possibly in Paris. And he is replaced by Melanie Joly. And this is quite a remarkable comeback for her. Uh, she's a Montreal area MP. Uh, she was uh, in, in Trudeau's original cabinet in 2015. Didn't do very well as heritage minister, was demoted, uh, served in some other roles, but then became the national campaign co-chair in this last election campaign. Trudeau trusts her a lot. Now she gets what is you know, essentially the, the biggest job in cabinet next to that of the deputy prime minister and finance minister, Christian Freeland, who remains in place. So lots of big changes in some of the major roles, Patricia. And let's talk about locally because, of course, Catherine McKenna no longer a, a member of uh, Trudeau's government. There was some speculation about what would happen mm. in terms in terms of uh, finding a big role for a local MP, Mona Forte is the one who gets uh, dubbed with the uh, Treasury Board. Tell me about that role and what that means for her. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the governments have traditionally wanted to have an Ottawa MP at the cabinet table. So, yes, uh, Mona Forche was in cabinet before as Minister of Middle Class Prosperity. No one really ever knew what that meant exactly. It was a little unclear what her job was. Uh, but now she takes on a big job uh, at, at Treasury Board. Uh, of course, she becomes the minister responsible for the federal public service uh, right across the country, not just in Ottawa. Uh, so that's a, that's a big position. And also, she's, you know, as Treasury Board Minister, she's the one who has to kind of say no to cabinet requests for more money for more programs. So a uh, difficult job, uh, but again, one that uh, her appointment shows that she has a lot of trust from the Prime Minister and his circle, Patricia. You're dealing with the public service. I guess you're still kind of dealing with the middle class and all of those all those of us fighting to be part of it yeah, sure. under, uh, under Justin Trudeau. Upper Shield. middle class, quite <laughs> That's often. Right. Uh, CTV's Glenn McGregor for us today. Thank you.